audio jungle. University. Plat Campus is located on a hilly and forested part of the municipality of Plat, enjoying blissful serenity and nature's green. The campus sits on a vast land area of about 672 hectares, making it the third biggest campus of the university. A perfect landscape for agricultural resources and innovations. Celestial Plat is a 30-minute drive east of the Basilica Minore of Our Lady of Plat. Pilgrimage Center of Cagayan Valley. It is about an hour drive from the Bibarao City, the center of trade and commerce in the province. Smart decisions, dedicated people, right resources, and consistent commitment for excellence. Those were fundamental in bringing CSU Plot Campus to where it is now. Looking back, CSU Plot started small with the mission to bring education in the western province of Cagayan, catering to the marginalized communities in nearby towns and provinces of the region. <laughs> of CSU Plot when Mr. Mariano Manaligod, then Superintendent of Schools in Cagayan, founded Cagayan National Agricultural School or CNES with Mr. Antonino Perez as the principal. In June 17, 1961, by virtue of Republic Act 3104, Cagayan National Agricultural School was converted into a chartered college and was named Itagos Agricultural College, installing Mr. Antonino Perez as the first president. In 1976, by virtue of RA4893, Itawas Agricultural College again changed its name into Northern Luzon State College of Agriculture or the NLSCA. Leadership was handed over to Mr. Luis Catabian after Mr. Antonino Perez retired from service. On June 11, 1978, an integrated university system was formed by merging various technological vocational institutions in the province by virtue of Presidential Decree 1436, signed by former President Ferdinand Antonin Marcos and authored by Senator Juan Ponce Enrile. The promulgation of PD 1436 met the first premier vocational school into a state university now popularly known as Cagayan State University. On November 27, 1978, CSU's first president was installed. Dr. Manuel T. Corpus became the first president of the university. Mr. Luis Catabian, the then president of the dissolved NLSCA, was assigned as the provost of CSU Piat, making the campus as a temporary office of the university administration. Dr. Manuel T. Corpus had his term from November 21, 1978 to 1981. From his various achievements as the first president, he was notable for making CSU Plot as the regional research center for Carabao. In 1989, Dr. Armando B. Cortez succeeded Dr. Manuel T. Cortez. President Cortez reigned from 1989 to 2001. 
With more than a decade reign, he expanded the curricular offerings of the university from undergraduate to graduate degree programs. This was credited to be one of his greatest achievements as president. On March 8, 2015, another turnover of CSU leadership took place. The third university president, Dr. Roger P. Perez, assumed presidency from March 8, 2004 to 2012. He was noted for the complete placement of the university through his massive infrastructure projects and planting zero tuition that resulted in a remarkable increase in enrollment, making CSU the biggest university in the region in population and program offerings. On 2012, the Board of Regents elected Dr. Romeo Arkelin as the fourth president of the university. Dr. Kilang introduced a paradigm shift for the university. CSU was transformed into a research university, making it as the best SUC in the region through its competitive performance in research and extension. In 2016, Tagayan State University has gained in its history the installation of its first lady president. Dr. Urduha A. Tejada. Among the change of the administration is a new academic landscape for CSU. The leadership of the Lady President is geared at accelerating research and extension initiatives of the university, equipping and exposing its faculty through more RBE opportunities for them to better deliver and perform in their tried mission in instruction, research, and extension. Dr. Urduha is just starting up her administration. But this early, her strong foundation and root as a leader make us very optimistic of CSU's future as a leading academic institution in the province and beyond. She has already put in place strong linkages in support for bigger research and expansion initiatives that respond to the needs of science. CSU also takes pride in the unique lineup of campus heads from the past to the present, as they have explored and continued to do innovative transformations for the campus, bringing CSU Plot to where it is now. and commitment of the campus administration currently led by its campus executive officer, Dr. Vicente S. Vinasai Jr., the university's longest reigning CEO, enjoying more than a decade in his post. CSU Prep continues its trajectory to reach greater heights. Through his leadership, the campus has become an open field for developmental reforms, enhancing students' Officers, farmers, community folks, researchers, and scientists with continuous discovery of breakthroughs, introducing significant knowledge in addressing societal issues and concerns. of a more than 10 hectare integrated agri-animal model farm became a field laboratory for explorations and discoveries open for research, instruction, and extension initiatives of the campus. CSU Plot is now being recognized for its competitive contribution in agricultural science, crop and pasture production, dairy and animal production.
Also, this every animal integrated farm is becoming a regional landmark and is catching national attention as an every ecotourism site through its strong links with the local government of Yap, provincial government of Pagayan, Department of Tourism, and various travel and tour organizations. Tourists are now starting to flood in the campus for an angry animal experience and appreciation in agriculture. For CSU Flat is the University's Dairy Research Center stationed at the campus. The Dairy Research Center is starting to make significant inputs in improving livestock dairy production in the province. It is ambitious to improve and escalate dairy industry in the region. Moreover, the campus has established strong partnership with other government and non government organizations, both in the local and national level. This partnership enormously contributed to its physical resources and scholarship programs, enabling the campus to provide significant support for more developmental reforms. Flat takes pride to be a hub that incubates great minds that will serve for public good and live an inspiring life as evidence that poverty is never a hindrance to dream big and dare further exploits. <music> Through its enhanced program offerings, from its banner agricultural course, it now has five program offerings. Bachelor of Secondary Education Bachelor of Elementary Education Bachelor of Criminal Justice Education Bachelor of Science and Information Technology and Bachelor of Science in Agriculture all preparing a better future for aspiring students from far-flung areas of Western Cagayan and nearby provinces to pursue excellent education at the moment no cost. tradition in molding and inspiring underprivileged but deserving students to reach their dreams and make a mark in their respective fields. Today, CSU Club takes pride in celebrating tremendous transformation and enjoys its recognition as a distinguished center of higher education institution in the western side of Cagayan. CSU Club strives to uphold Cagayan State University's mission, transforming lives by educating for the best.